Actually, uh, as far as uh, Matalingahan, uh, protected uh, landscape is concerned, ay uh, kung saan ito ay matatagpaan sa southern part ng Palawan. No? And then, uh, around the uh, uh, MMP, uh, ay uh, nandyan yung uh, municipalities of uh, Batarasa, uh, Brooks Point, Spaniola, uh, Quezon, and Rizal. So, napapagpuntan sila then portion of Tara. So, uh, ito ay uh, may lawak na about 120,457 hectares na. At uh, yun nga, uh, na kung saan ay uh, may pinapakataas na tundok ito na about 2,086 meters above sea level. Sea level. At kung pupunta ka sa south, makikita mo yun, yung uh, pinakat uh, high speed yun. Uh, kung saan yun po yung uh, pinaka-pick na so with the relative our campaign ang uh, Mount Matalingan ay uh, in 2015 ay included siya sa list ng World Heritage Site no? under sa UNESCO at uh, under category 9 and 10 uh, na kung saan uh, this has an exceptional biodiversity and endemicity no? uh, magkikita na part ng uh, resources ng uh, Mount Matalingan so we have all submitted uh, yung requirements and then hopefully by 2020 the UNESCO will convene at uh, mapag-usapan yung matangyan. For the Philippines, this is only our loan entry no? at uh, it so happened uh, uh, dito sa Palawan. With the full support of uh, the different stakeholders uh, on top of this uh, yung local government units na uh, kinabahan kita mga municipalities and then of course with the uh, support of our congressman, congressman Eric Capue at ating uh, honorable governor uh, Jose Chavez Sampari. So they supported all this uh, uh, dream that uh, Mark Patilingan will be considered as one of the World Heritage Sites. So if mm -hmm. we consider it by 2020, hopefully and we'll Praying for it, ay uh, maging tatlo na, the PPR, the Tumata, and uh, Mount Matalina, uh, located in Palawan.